you gotta watch out for snakes this time of year but that's the one right there i believe it's right there All right, so I got the old GoPro out, doing a time lapse with the big camera right over there. And um, beautiful day in the neighborhood on top of this little mesa-like area. Over there is Lake Pleasant, and that's the way we're gonna go over there, get on Highway 74, it's called, which is the same as the Carefree Highway that goes from I-17 all the way over to, um, what's the road called? Uh, it goes to um, Wickenburg, uh, hmm, can't think of the name of it. I'll put it on the screen if I remember it, if I remember, if I remember too. Um, Grand Avenue, so Grand Avenue, I, I don't remember the numer numerical, uh, designation it might be 93 which is the same thing that goes to vegas from wickenburg yeah so and we got some nice wispy clouds and uh the uh ranger is doing mighty good uh colin and i would two weeks ago or uh Two, uh, Easter Sunday, we went with the ranger group from Facebook uh, all over the place out here. They decided to quit early because of Easter. Well, Colin and I didn't have any plans, so we um, went up in this area by ourselves. And I was doing a, um, trying to do a time lapse with the uh, uh, drone, and I'm basically in the same area right here. And all of a sudden, Bailey walks around this way, full of Choya jumping cactus. Oh, it was horrible. Well, we got to put it in emergency mode and got some long nose pliers out and uh, got them out, out for the most part. Later on, back at the house, pulled out about another 15 and looked at the drone footage and it actually caught him see that cactus right there he was doing something there and all of a sudden he took off around this way and came to me kind of whining and uh well he was definitely whining and like he was hurt of course he was but uh colin saw him too so we um jumped into action got a bunch of a couple pliers out and colin held him while i flicked him off and then we worked on him for a good hour, hour and a half to get everything out that we could. Pretty sure we got everything for our situation out until we got home. And then he uh, was relaxed and everything. I was petting him and would feel something. And then it would be another one of those cactus uh, spike things, whatever they're called, splines or spines or whatever. And um, then I would pull it out maybe 10 or 15 more that night. So he seems to be fine. So yeah, that's my little 
Bailey and the jumping cactus um, story. And I'm going to show you um, where or which one that he. I already did kind of show you, but I'm going to show you up close now. You got to watch out for snakes this time of year, but that's the one right there, I believe. It's right there. So, as you can see, there's a bunch of loose ones. One, two, three, four, five, whatever, whatever. And uh, I don't know if he accidentally or he was going to go pee pee number one urinate whatever you want to call it so what I actually want to find out is if we can find the remnants of those ones that I pulled off of him somewhere we might be parked over them to tell you the truth because we basically parked in the same place I believe yeah I don't see any 